Spartan and noisy. The 2018 Jeep Wrangler doesn't offer much in the way of comfort. The 2018 Wrangler comes in two body styles, with two or four doors both have two rows of seats. But the 20.6-inch longer Wrangler Unlimited has more usable rear seats, as well as more cargo space. We give the Duo 4 for quality and comfort. There's more interior space in the Unlimited, but we don't get points for noise and overall fit and finish. The front seats have fairly thick bolsters and are surrounded by enough space. On two doors, the back seat is thinly padded, flat, and offers little in the way of comfort or knee room. Unlimiteds have much better space, and those back seats have enough support stitched in for off and on road comfort. The rear seat can be folded down or removed entirely, but doesn't fold flat for cargo. Acceptable cargo space in two door Wranglers throws to generous space in the unlimited two doors have 56.5 cubic feet of space when the rear seat is folded down, but only 12.8 cubic feet behind the rear seat when it's in use. The Unlimited has 31.5 cubic feet behind the back seat, or 71.6 cubic feet with the rear seat folded. Cargo access is something of a chore no matter which top is in place. They swing out tailgate mates with either a zip close and plastic rear window or a glass panel hinged at its top. It's easier, of course, when there's no top in place at all the Wrangler's removable tops are one of the key reasons it's still so popular. The soft and hard tops do little to block noise from entering the cabin, but the Freedom Top gives a fairly durable roofless ride with less fuss than the soft top, which requires many hands and much patience to remove or put back in place no matter what. It's still raw and loud inside the Wrangler, with lots of road and tire and gear noise. Though when noise is admirably low the cabin has its charms, like side doors with pull strap closers, and some soft touch trim on the dash it still can be hosed out after an off-road adventure by driving a Wrangler over long distances can be frustrating. It's loud, its ride is rumbly and pitchy, and there's no place to rest the left foot on manual equipped models. 